Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called We're the Millers, and it stars Jennifer Aniston from Friends, Jason Sudeikis from Saturday Night Live, Ember Roberts, who happens to be the daughter of Julia Roberts, the Polder, Ed Helms from the Hangover movies, Nick Offerman, Kathleen Hahn, and Molly C. Quinn, and it's directed by Walson Marshall Ferber, who directed the movie Dodgeball. The movie begins when a drug dealer named David, played by Jason Sudeikis, is unable to play his boss, Brad Guttelinger, played by Ed Helms, of what he owes him. So his boss offers him a proposition to go to Mexico to get some marijuana from him. But knowing that it was going to be very difficult for him to cross the border, David decided to come up with his own plan to pose as a family man and hires his neighbor, Kenny, to be his son, a homeless girl named Casey to be their daughter, and Rose, a stripper who also lives next door to them, their mother. And they call themselves the Millers. And they rented an RV to get to Mexico to learn that amount of drugs is way more than Dave's boss hinted it. So once they put all the drugs in the RV, they make a way back to the US. But it turns out that his boss is pulling a fast bone. That the drugs themselves belong to a boss and they're set their ways to get them back. Now, coming from the director of Dodgeball, I was expecting to see a lot of funny moments in this film, like many raunchy ones that we often get these days. But of course, we did have some of them, and some of them were quite memorable. I did, however, like the scene where where Kenny make out with a girl that he met, who happens to be the the daughter of another RV couple. And was Casey he was trying to teach him how to kiss. Um, same thing with Rose too. I, <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. And then of course there's a famous scene, as you may have seen on all the ads, Jennifer Aniston, you know, strips her clothes, you know, wearing her underwear, and dancing around in, in the warehouse. Yeah, that was that moment in that scene. That plays out like a scene in the movie Flashdance. That sort of way. Throughout the film, you do get some car chase scenes and someone getting bitten by a spider or something like that. And they're trying their ways to escape from these bad guys from getting the drugs. However, I did like the outtakes. Uh, some, yeah, some of the outtakes were pretty funny too. But I know they did throw in a TLC song, you know, Waterfalls. So that was cool. And there are plenty of others in this film that just gets to it. But on the plus side, it's not bad, but it's not that great. In the director's career, though, I thought Dodgeball was a much better movie. And at least it was in comparison to this film. But out of all the raunchiest comedies we've seen so far, at least for the most part, at least it was better than Identity Thief. Because I have to admit, Identity Thief wasn't that great at all. Whenever you're in a mood for a comedy, like The Hangover or any other film out there, I think this film would definitely be for you. I give Word the Millers three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.